Welcome back to Daytime. Zeva Khan is with us from the Foot Care and Orthotic Center. We're talking about a painful foot condition that's common and can be tricky to treat. It's called plantar fasciitis. Zeva, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You're a chiropodist. Am I saying that properly? Yes. And what is a chiropodist? Well, a chiropodist or chiropodist is also pronounced a chiropodist um, is a foot specialist. And as a foot, spe foot specialist, you're here specifically to talk about plantar fasciitis. What is it? I've had it before. I know it's painful. So tell me about it. Uh, well, plantar fasciitis um, is um, an inflammation of the plantar fascia, which is a structure found on the bottom of the foot. Um, I actually have a diagram here of the plantar fascia. And you can see it originates at the heel bone and fans out and attach attaches into the base of the joints and the ball of the foot. And plantar fasciitis is essentially an inflammation associated with micro tears and it can occur anywhere along the length of this structure but generally occurs closer to the heel bone. So what are some of the causes of the tears? Ah, there are many causes. There are many causes. Um, uh, many times we find that patients exhibit signs of poor foot posture. So individuals who have flatter feet or higher arches um, and mechanically their feet are not functioning optimally, um, they can suffer from this condition. Um, and there are all other factors as well, such as um, increased body weight, of course would put more strain on your, on your plantar fascia. Um, ill-fitting footwear, so wearing shoes that may not be appropriate for the activity that you're, you're um, taking part in uh, or are not fitting properly. So these are some uh, other causes as well. So when someone comes to see you and they have plantar fasciitis, what are some of the treatment options and some of the suggestions that you give to them? Okay, so well for treatment options, um, generally when the patient comes to our clinic, we, um, we do a physical examination as well as a foot scan. So a foot scan is where um, the patient will walk over a, uh, a pressure uh, mat which will evaluate plantar pressures on the bottom of their feet. So I actually have a scan that was taken of a patient of ours that came earlier this week who is suffering with heel pain. And you can see here areas of high pressure are, um, are red. And so you can see this patient suffers with a lot of plantar pressure here in the bottom of their heel as well as in the ball of their foot. Uh, so this is a, a very helpful tool for us to determine uh, what's going on, where the pressures are in the feet. And from there, we do a physical examination of the foot. We take measurements of the feet um, and determine if there is a postural issue. So are we dealing with somebody who has um, a flat foot or a high arch? And, and essentially, we are, are looking at putting the bones and the joints back in the proper alignment to take the stress off the plantar fascia. So that's one of the treatment options. Um, we also do provide footwear advice um, for after doing this assessment. We, we can individualize a, a treatment plan for the patient, talk about footwear and go through footwear advice with them. Um, we also have um, laser therapy, which helps to reduce pain, inflammation, and help with repairing the tissue, the injured tissue. And, um, we also have a heel pain kit, which is, uh, we treat a lot of foot pain in our office. So right. we, al we also have a heel pain kit, which um, has uh, uh, numerous stretches and strength strengthening exercises uh, as part of a home care plan. Oh, that's great. Well, at first when you said a heel pain kit, I thought it was something that you rub on to reduce the pain, but it's exercises that you can do. Yes, um, and actually I brought a product from our heel pain kit. It's called a foot roller. And um, this is made out of rubber. It's a, it's a tube with ridges and it can be chilled in the freezer. And you actually uh, place it on the floor and roll your foot over it with some pressure and it helps to break up the inflammation. Wow, so something that simple can, can help you at home care. Let's quickly talk about footwear because you said that that was very important. Footwear is very important, yes. Footwear is very important. Um, you want to look, at, uh, look for a shoe, and I brought a running shoe in today. However, you, know, you really could apply these principles to any shoe when you're doing shoe shopping. Um, you want to look for a shoe with a wide, stable base okay more surface area and contact with the floor you're walking on you're going to have more stability you want to look for a shoe that has um, a thick cushioned um, sole to help once again reduce those plantar pressures um, you want to look for a shoe that has um, firm walls and heel counter and has a, a good uh, closure system such as laces and velcro and make sure you're actually doing them up right really it's so important. important how you put your foot into a shoe even 
Right, right. Now, we only have about a minute left, and I wanted to talk quickly. You have a grand opening? That, that's we had a grand opening in September, yes. Oh, good. Where's your location? Uh, we're at, um, we're in Whitby, okay. at 25 Thixon Road North, uh, which is at uh, the corner of Thixon and Crawforth. Okay, so very local, very close. Is there one last short piece of advice that you could give on people with plantar fasciitis? Well, we have a lot of information on our website, so you can visit our website um, and um, get more information on any of the things that I've discussed today. Also, we do have um, a, a downloadable ebook on shoe shopping tips. That's great. Thank you so much, Zeva, for being here. I really appreciate your time and Thank your you. information. Thank you. Up next, the daytime dish. We'll be right back.